2019, Meghan insulted the Moroccan royal family by referring to their customary milk and dates as filthy in an unreleased video. With an announcement made more than two weeks before the trip was scheduled to begin and confirmation of the itinerary just days before arrival, the Sussexes' three-day travel to Morocco at the government's request in the seventh month of Meghan's pregnancy was rather unexpected. The commercial Royal Air Maroc flight experienced a 90-minute delay, which marked an unfavorable beginning to Prince Harry and Meghan's brief vacation to Morocco. As the stunning sunset had already ended by the time they touched down, they were left to examine the deity of honor in the dark and shake hands with dignitaries and fari. That dismal beginning portended a fairly peculiar royal visit, albeit one laced with wickedness. Nicole's red carpet a new video featuring the fiasco from Morocco. We may be in the dark about Meghan's refusal to accept an offer date. Back then, she was charged with disobeying convention and making fun of the Moroccan royal family. Next, the ladies had a customary greeting before heading to meet with Crown Prince Nile Hassan of Morocco. According to the Daily Mail, the Duke and Duchess received a tray of milk and dates as a customary welcome from Morocco. They were then shown to the royal villa, which is located on King Mohammed's palace grounds, where they would be staying. Though they have all been briefed on protocol as they are still members of the royal family and are representing the United Kingdom, according to the clip released on TikTok Harry, they accepted the welcome date on both occasions that were offered. Meghan must have been included in that briefing, so why be so awkward to turn down the unadulterated protocol of the infamous Morocco trip? Giving your guests milk and dates is usual. After touching and feeling the dates, Meghan asks if the milk was organic and declines the offerings, labeling them as filthy. This was interpreted as bad money and a show of disdain for your host. Meghan is a global catastrophe on wheels. She stinks up the place whenever she visits and makes the host stay miserable. It is cultivated on royal estates or farms. Meghan Markle's attitude is exacerbated by the fact that she was given really exclusive dates. Refusing the dates is not only rude, but it goes against their customs that she touched them without accepting one. It was astonishing that she was ignorant of the fundamental social mores of the nation she was visiting. It was worse still, she was speaking for the British people and the Queen. When you do a royal trip, you are speaking for the Queen and the country, particularly when it comes to how crucial it is to build solid relationships. It's a diplomatic obligation. Meghan saw it as an opportunity to play the narcissistic, arrogant vulgarian in a drama that was self-regarding, selfish, and self-promoting. Instead of fostering stronger ties, commerce, and confidence between Britain and other countries, she believed that Meghan Markle was being promoted by the royal tours. Not only is Morocco a patriarchal society, but it also has a very formal royal family. Harry is the royal, not Meghan, and he was the one who mattered in this situation, thus she shouldn't have shot him. Photographs of the Queen's trip to Morocco abound. Prince Philip is following them both as he should, but she is going side by side with the Moroccan king.